Okay, lecture 57, Structure and Classification of Lipids. So there are a lot of terms in this chapter, so I've written them. We won't be discussing all of them, but I just list them so that you'll know those are the ones you should know. First question or problem, name the five categories of lipids from your book. So lipids can be broken down in a lot of ways and subcategories, but uh, these are the five that your, your book states as uh, the main categories. We have energy storage lipids, membrane lipids, emulsification lipids, messenger lipids, and protective coating lipids. And we'll talk about each of these in turn, but should know those are the five categories. And it says to uh, draw a fatty acid and explain the term. Okay, so I already drew these out just to save some time. But a fatty acid, an acid, uh, the part comes from uh, this carboxylic acid group on the end, the carboxyl group, and this hydrogen is acidic. So that's the acid part. And then the fatty comes from fats are water insoluble, and um, that's due to this very long chain uh, that's nonpolar that contains just carbon and hydrogen. So that's where we get that term from. Now. That's just a fatty acid. It could have been any of the, the different types. But here, they want a saturated fatty acid, an SFA. And we have an, another way of drawing this. I think I'd do this later on. You can draw it in this form as well. But um, it's saturated. There's no, no double bonds except between the carbon and the oxygen. But along the chain, it's every, all of the carbons have um, the maximum number of hydrogens that they can have saturated, monounsaturated, very common type of fatty acid in the human body. And this is uh, MUFA and uh, and explain the term. So mono, just one, unsaturated, there's one double bond. Now, I'm so used to from previous lectures of drawing the double bond just as is, but we've got to remember that most of the uh, the fatty acids that we have that are unsaturated will have cis, uh, uh, the double bond will have the cis formation. So we, we don't normally draw it, but we'd have the hydrogens up here. So one, so one, two, so it'd be, and the rest of it would go accordingly. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So we got to be careful, uh, though the trans uh, fatty acids do exist, uh, there are very, very, very few of them compared to the, the uh, cis uh, fatty acids, or cis uh, unsaturated fatty acids. So whenever we see a double bond, normally we have to take into account that these are uh, going to be have that cis formation. So one, two, then we have now normally so one, one, two, three, and here, this is, uh, normally you don't have them this close, so, but might as well just stick with the rule. Uh, and normally there's, there's space, and we'll see later on, so that uh, if we draw this out, the double bonds all will be on one side rather than back and forth like this. There's, uh, But I just drew it as I was going along and I'm not stating that this has to be any particular unsaturated, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid. It could be ones that are synthetic as well, but just to, to show that uh, what we should normally be seeing in the human body. And I, um, uh, this would be PUFA. Now I talked with a biochemist uh, about this and they said they had never seen MUFA used, but they had seen PUFA used as, as the name rather than PUFA. But they uh, were very uh, uh, much in favor of just saying out the complete term, but these are the acronyms. Okay, now draw an omega-3 fatty acid. So what we're with the omega three, we're talking about from the end, not the uh, the carboxyl end, but from the tail end. One, two, three. That's where we we made up with the first double bond. So that's omega three fatty acid. Uh, very common and considered a healthy type of fatty acid. Same with omega six here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it can have more, as I drew here, can have more than one double bond, but the first one has to be met at carbon three uh, when counting from the tail end. And uh, same thing goes for mega six, you just uh, go from the tail end to carbon six. All right, now, uh, describe the fatty acids in all the ways that have been discussed in the book. Well, uh, when you have uh, the fatty acid, aside from the oxygens here, it's just carbon and hydrogen. So if we count up the carbons, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 carbons, and there are there is one double bond. So we could call the 6 colon 1 to indicate that there's six carbons, 16 carbons, and, and one double bond in that fatty acid. We can also state where that, car that um, double bond is from this side, and we use that with a capital delta, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It starts at carbon nine. Or we can number from the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's omega seven. Uh, and that's palm toletic, oh, I can't see it. I don't have my, <laughs> I can get my glass. Uh, um, palmitoleic acid. The writing here is unbelievably small. Uh, just taken from your book as one of the fatty acids. Now for the second one, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4. So 20 carbons, 4 double bonds. And then we figure out where they are. Um, let's see, and this one, two, three, four, five. The first double bond is met is at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we can also um, call this an omega six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if we number it from the other side. And this is arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid. So, um, just in, because these two happen to be in that uh, the table, but whatever fatty acid you're given, you can you can label it by any of these ways, and um, with these two terms, you get the full picture of the fatty acid. Actually, with these two terms here, you can uh, draw out the entire thing. So I think that's all we have here.